My name is John Clater and I'm one of the co-founders of Sappy Fest and also one of the co-founders of Sappy Records, which was sort of the father organization that led to Sappy Fest. Well, as the story goes, um, we thought of having a small get-together, sort of a barbecue in my backyard. I lived on the edge of town and had a really big yard. We started inviting musician friends that we had worked with and uh, played with over the years and before we knew it people started being interested in buying tickets and the first festival was quite small maybe 200 people but we were sort of expecting 30 or 40 so it just sort of has uh, grown from there. I love Sappy Fest, I love it till I die favorite best festival in the world hasn't gotten too corporate and you really feel like that community is involved you know like I'm staying with uh, Linda up the road like and uh, people are cooking for you and you're not really here to see bands more to just kind of hang out and feel good for the first time in a while this, this is my first time at Sappy uh... Whoops, not my first time in Sackville. I love Sackville, it's great. Um, but this is not what I, like and any other music festival I've been to recently is completely commercial. This is like very homegrown and grassroots and, and amazing, it's really great. I love uh, Sackville. It just kind of staying, I don't know, it's beautiful. There's so many old surprises. The, the movie theater, it's kind of like a, like a theme park of classic small town. Yeah, we've been popping into, into a bunch of the shops and like some of the, been checking out some of the other stuff they've got going in the, uh, the art and the, uh, and the uh, like tent sales and the games and all that. It's been, it's cool. It's really, it's a nice, real community spirit that's, that's going on here. Oh, they love it. Um, everyone loves it. It keeps getting better every year. Uh, the town folk like it. Um, so it's just, it's got such a great energy uh, around it. And I've, I've been here for all eight of them. And, you know, I've, I've watched it grow over the years. And, and uh, the people that come are generally very polite, very chill. This is like, I think this is a better way to do it because it's more concentrated and everybody's here for the same reason. Whereas like at, at Evolve, you got a whole bunch of different stages to check out and you got a whole bunch of different places to go. Shouts out uh, Bridge Street. Yeah, shouts out Bridge Street. Bridge Street. Out of this life, so tell me what you want, what you want, what you want. Out of this life, life, what you want. Oh uh, yeah, it's a lot of folk cool. music and indie rock, so I love that shit. So it's and good shit. weed and shit. Yeah, awesome weed. A lot of mosquitoes, <laughs> but I'm prepared. And it's like family oriented in a sense, but still young and energetic and nice. Like I don't feel like I'm in a family oriented place, but if you look around, it still has that feel. But I guess because it's like a small town, but it's good. It's a lot of good indie upcoming rock bands. Yeah.